Hello everyone, it is Wednesday, June 30th, 2010, and this is your Daily Dose of Reptile News. The RSPCA has found a South Shields man guilty of 10 counts of failing to provide the proper environment for reptiles. He is due in court next month. And an update about Albuquerque, New Mexico and the reptile hoarder we talked about yesterday. There's a picture. Apparently, as of the recent count, not including dead reptiles, they've taken 72 snakes out of the home, mostly consisting of boas. They say that there were holes in the floor and the wall and the oldest child could not stay in their room because of the mess and the snakes in the room. And now off to the Gulf Coast oil spill. Apparently wildlife officials today are beginning to remove hundreds of turtle nests. They're taking the turtle nest to central Florida to a warehouse where the eggs will be incubated and the babies will be released on the shoreline. Apparently their goal is to collect 700 nests and attempt to save the babies of the endangered sea turtles from the oil spill. Well, that has been all your news for this Wednesday, June 30th, 2010. If you'd like to read any more of these stories, those links are right down below here in the description. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White. Now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other.